There was little secret about the rivalry between Gordon Brown and Tony Blair. And now in his 700-page memoirs, Blair reveals his true feelings about his successor. He says that Gordon Brown tried to blackmail him. In the book, he says that Brown had political calculation, yes. Political feelings, no. Analytical intelligence, absolutely. Emotional intelligence, zero. He speaks about the pressure that he came under to sack Brown as Chancellor of the Exchequer. He admits that he thought Brown would be a disaster as Prime Minister, writing it was never going to work. He says that Labour lost in 2010 because it stopped being New Labour. It won as New Labour, it lost by ceasing to be that. Perhaps the most anticipated section of the book is Tony Blair's thoughts on the war in Iraq. He says that he shed many tears and feels desperately sorry for the lives cut short, but he was never likely to apologise. I can't regret the decision going to war, he insists. I can say that never did I guess the nightmare that unfolded, and that too is part of the responsibility. In response to criticism levelled at him for having a lack of remorse, he says defensively, do they really suppose I don't care, don't feel, don't regret with every fibre of my being the loss of those who died? Writing my memoir, A Journey, has been a fascinating and enjoyable experience. I set out to write a book which would give the reader... Arguably the most unexpected revelation is of his growing concerns about how much he was drinking. He says he would have a gin and tonic or a whiskey before dinner, followed by several glasses of wine. He says he drank to compensate for pressure, to stimulate, to make a boring evening bearable. Ironically, coincidentally or deliberately, the book is published on the day that ballot papers are being sent to elect the new Labour leader. Blair hasn't yet, at least publicly, backed any of the five candidates. But as the leadership contenders try to look to the future of the party, their battle is being overshadowed by one from the past, the political rivalry that lay at the heart of new Labour. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News.